Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will just move ahead from where we left in the previous video. So let's get started. So this was the point we left in the last video. So we talked about GCG, which is genetic computer groups. So this is basically a software that stores uh, different sorts of sequences, uh, which can be of nucleotide or protein sequences. And it has a emboss equivalent order that works on emboss. So emboss is something that it uh, works under. So this is a basic based on computer line programs. So GC is just very simple. You just have to read through this. It's not much to explain. And it is also known as a Win, uh, Wisconsin package. So moving ahead with this. So talking about the European Monocular Biology Open Suit. Uh, we'll talk about more about emboss in this and lots of other programs related to this all right so uh this is the full form of emboss which stands as european molecular biology open software suit and also embossed is a free open source software analysis package uh, especially developed for the needs of the molecular biology user community all right and emboss uh, program Groups such as alignment, uh, which can be consensus differences, laws, global, uh, local, multiple, uh, displays, edit, enzyme context, uh, feature tables, information, nucleic acid for 2D structure, 3D anything, uh, mutation primers, profiles, repeats, restrictions, transcription, translation, also phylogeny and as well as protein uh, structure predictions. So this was all of emboss that uh, needs to be like this is important part for emboss uh, for uh, the case we're considering from GCG. So this was all about emboss. So you just can pause the video and just read about it. This is not much about. So this is just full form. This is an open free software which is used for the needs of bi uh, molecular biology user community. And these are some of the functions that I just said. So you can just go through once. So that's it. Uh, the moving on for this. So let's talk about the uses of uh, GCG. So it enters sequences from digital uh, digitalizer or keyboard and edit them. It also manages and assembles nucleotide sequences fragments in a sequencing project. Also, it calculates and displays uh, restriction digestions. Also, it compares sequences. It search nucleic acid or protein sequences. Uh, it uh, databases uh, for the sequence car similarity to your query sequences of the sequence pattern. It creates, edits, display, and analyze multiple sequence alignments. So this is basic, very basic uh, uses it has, as you know, as you can see. Just so it, uh, you know, it's just can. It just, you just need to put these sequences, whether it be faster format or any other format, so it will help you to uh like uh, get uh, get hold of the, all of the information related to it and you all, also you can create it and display analyze multiple sequence alignments so moving on with that so there are some more importances as well so there are determination and display of evolutionary patterns from multiple sequence alignments I recognize uh, terminators repeats uh, protein coating regions and other consensus patterns also predate and display optimal and suboptimal sub RNA uh, secondary structures. Also identify sequence motifs in uh, protein sequences and make predictions about protein isolation. Also it translate nucleic acid sequences into protein sequences and back translate protein sequences into nucleic acids. And also the prediction of optimal primers for PCR reactions. So these are some of more important uses related to GCG. So you can just uh, read them once again for your reference. So these are very important as per the other importance is considered. So moving on with this. So we let's talk about the format. Uh, coming on the format of GCG, uh, it's sequence. A sequence file in GCG contains exactly one sequence, begins with annotation lines, and at the start of the sequence is marked by line ending with two dots. So uh, as uh, the one of the important point is it contains only one sequences and can it cannot contain multiple sequences and it starts with the word SQ as you can see here it's similar to EMBL format 
whereas it ends with two dots. All right. This line also contains the sequence identifier, the uh, sequence length, and a checksum. The format should only be used if the file was created with the GS GCG package. All right. These are some of the important information related to this. So this was the GCG format that you may look into. This is very much pretty much similar. Just the ending is different, which has two dots. So talking about GCG RSF rich sequence format. So RSF is rich sequence format. So the new GCG RSF can contain several sequences in one file. So this is a uh, further improvisation of GCG, which can contain now contain several sequences in one file. And this format should only be used if the file was created with GCG package. So this was uh, repeated again and again. So it only works with GCG package and not with any other software packages. All right. So moving on. So we'll talk about the abstract syntax notation. So these are some of the syntax notation which are not very important. So I've just put a slide for your reference. So if you want to look into this, you can look into this by, by looking at the some of the notations and this entries and sequences. So like this, it happens. So this is not of importance. It doesn't come anywhere. So just uh, to show you like this, this works like this way. If you use GCG package, all right. Also, sequence file in IG format can contain several sequences. So this is important that it does not contain one sequences. Also, each consisting of a number of comment line that must begin with semicolon. So this is an important thing. So there are inclusion of comments, as you can see, after lighting each line. All right, after putting a semicolon in this. So after putting a semicolon, you can put the comment like this. Also, a line with the sequence name. It may not contain spaces and the sequence itself terminate terminated with termination character one for linear or, or two for circular sequences. So for termination of sequences, we are, it is it uses a numerical uh, numbered as one for linear sequences and two for circular sequences. OK, so like uh, sequences are ended or terminated with the help of these numbers in IG formats. So moving on, with, so we'll talk about some of the sequence submissions in databases. So these are some of the submissions that I like want to take another video. So these are some of the complex topics that I want to cover in the in my next video. So let's keep this video till here. Uh, stay tuned for watching this video and thank you for watching.